So summer is finally here, well at least in the northern hemisphere, and there's nothing better than a refreshing dish that fills your body with so much goodness and doesn't feel too heavy. Today, that's exactly what we're doing. We're making a Spanish chickpea salad. This is known here in Spain as una ensalada de garbanzos. And let me tell you, it's got so many beautiful flavors. It's super easy to make, made with the most basic ingredients, and it comes together within minutes, folks. This is the perfect dish for a hot summer's day, yet it's bold enough to enjoy all year round. Really quick before we begin, a shout out to one of my newest patrons, Karen Bird. Karen, thank you so much for becoming a patron of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's begin by grabbing a jar of cooked chickpeas. This is the same thing as the canned ones, adding them into a sieve, and then rinsing them under some cold running water. Now the size of this jar is 570 grams, which is about 20 ounces or two cups of cooked chickpeas. Then we'll transfer the chickpeas into a dishcloth, making sure that they're all in a single layer. Gently pat them completely dry and transfer them into a large bowl. For the next ingredient, I'm going to roughly chop one green bell pepper into small chunks. As you know, I always like to cut around the bell pepper, that way there's no seeds involved and you end up with an easy cleanup. And we'll add the chopped green bell pepper into the bowl with the chickpeas. Moving on, I'm going to roughly chop two tomatoes. As you know, tomatoes are in season right now during summer, so this is the best time to use them as they offer the best flavor possible. And we'll transfer the chopped tomatoes into the bowl with the chickpeas and the bell peppers. Then I'm going to finely dice one medium-sized red onion. You can use regular onions if you like, but for this recipe, the red onions work best as they have more of a mild flavor. And we'll add the diced red onion into the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. Then I'm going to grab some black pitted Spanish olives. I'm going to use about 12 for this recipe and thinly slice them. Once again, you can use whatever olives you want here, but the black ones work better than the green ones as they have more of a mild flavor and they don't overpower the dish. And we'll add the sliced black olives into the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. And finally, we'll grab a handful of fresh parsley, finely chop it, and add in about two tablespoons into the salad, which is about eight grams. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Before we start mixing everything together, let's make a very simple homemade dressing that takes this Spanish chickpea salad to the next level in greatness. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil into a bowl, which is 30 milliliters. Along with half a tablespoon of sherry vinegar, which is about 8 milliliters, you can use whatever vinegar you like. We'll finely grate in one clove of garlic and season with a kiss of sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll whisk it together until all the ingredients are evenly mixed. Then we'll pour in our homemade dressing over the chickpea salad. And we'll gently mix this together, that way all the ingredients are evenly mixed. And once again, remember to be gentle here, otherwise you can easily break those chickpeas apart. Once everything's well mixed, I'm going to cover the bowl with some saran wrap and then add it into the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes, but preferably for two hours, that way all these flavors can develop. After at least 30 minutes, I'm going to remove the chickpea salad from the fridge and transfer it into a serving dish. And there it is, our Spanish chickpea salad is done. So easy to put together, such simple ingredients, and it has the most beautiful presentation to it. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Now this is what great food is all about. Here we go.
It's absolutely delicious. It's another one of those dishes where less is more and simplicity meets extraordinary. But the real kicker of this chickpea salad, sorry, I got food all over my mouth, is that homemade dressing. It really elevates it and takes it to the next level. We saw this so easy to make, simple ingredients, serve it chilled on a hot summer's day or even at room temperature on a cold winter's day. Either way, it promises to fill your body with so much goodness. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.